<clears throat> Hi, another Conservative MP so far unnamed has been charged with rape and sexual assault. Charlie Elphick, former flag-waving anti-refugee Firebrand MP for Dover, awaits a probable custodial sentence for sexual assaults. Don't think that these crimes against women are solely the dirty work of Tory MPs, though. At the other end of the social spectrum, a acclaimed grime artist Sola has just been sentenced to 24 years for imprisoning, torturing and raping four women. He videoed it, declaring unrepentantly it was all a rape game. Is it any wonder that women are demanding safe spaces from abusive, coercive, coercive relationships? An absolutely minimal demand, and yet in this oppressive capitalist society, an impossibility. Certainly, abusers, predators, rapists should be exposed, called out, isolated, shunned and avoided. This, at the very least, should be done without recourse to the so-called justice system, with its spectacular failure to prosecute, pursue sex crimes against women and children. Society itself should be a safe space. This requires a true, ongoing, revolutionary upheaval. All of us, in particular women, children, minorities, the elderly, should feel safe and free and not menaced and threatened. Capitalism, authoritarianism, religion has over the centuries forged these circumstances. That's why us anarchists, among others, desire and work towards a revolution, all encompassing from below, ignoring nothing and overturning everything. Starting all over again to build a truly equitable society that benefits the vast majority. Facing unprecedented crises, we have to seriously contemplate and create revolution. Our system only de delivers misery to most of us, and particularly the working class in all its complexity, the majority of the population, and will continue to do so as long as we allow it to exist. Bye.